Twinkie, it's time to get up. You have a vet appointment. Today, Twinkie's going to the cardiologist for an updated echocardiogram. What do you want? Me? Look, I know, you wanna be on video? Twinkie's going to get an echocardiogram today. So we're getting ready to leave and then we'll be right back. So whenever I go somewhere with Twinkie, I like to have a backpack. So I just have his little doggy bag. I park little diapers, poopy bags, toys, treats, snacks, meds, blankie. So it's always good to do that just in case you have to rush to the vet. But I like to have this planned no matter what if we have to go anywhere quick and I just have his bag ready. Come on, ready to go? Are you ready? So Twinkie just turned 16 and he's just getting a regular checkup today. We're not having any issues, but we just want to get his heart checked. He started a new medication the last time we went there. So we do want to see if there is any possible improvement, but we're not expecting it. We know Twinkie's 16, right? And he has a little bump on his head. We want to figure out what that is. I packed his food because he didn't want to eat it before. So he can eat his food on the way if he wants. I don't know if he knows something's up. But let's get this over with, all right? We'll be there soon, so we'll be right back. Oh, now Twinkie's hungry. Yeah, good boy, eat your food before we go to the vet. Good boy. We're here, are you ready to go in? Are you ready to go in? All right, let's go. Oh, it's okay, Twinkie, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Oh, don't shake. It's almost over. Who's that? It's okay. Someone's nervous. Someone's nervous. He's like, where am I? I just want to go home in my bed. I just want to go home. Where am I? Okay, so they just did an x-ray and an echocardiogram. He seems pretty nervous. He will not sit still on my lap. He's panting a little. Um, the vet's gonna come in and tell me the results in a few minutes. So come here, honey, you need to relax. Come on, we're gonna go soon, you're almost done. The hard part's over. All right, it's okay, better relax. I'm gonna go home soon, okay? Let's just get the results. All right, he's really stressing. Twinkie, you have to just relax, okay, honey? I tried to put him up on my chair because he was just panting and pacing. He does not like it here. All right, I know, I know. I know. You can't. See, he's trying to just jump right off and fly on the ground. See, if I let him down, this is what he does. But I can't keep him on that chair. Look, you, you're panting again. Come here. You are too nervous. Come on. I'm gonna try to put him on my lap. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. You might even have to poop, even though I tried bringing him out before and you wouldn't go. Okay, we're all done with Twinkie's echocardiogram. He didn't end up needing x-rays, um, just the echo. He told me he needs to get his little bump checked at the vet. They might have to drain it. He said it looks like there's fluid in there. Um, he wanted to get us out of here as fast as possible because of the way Twinkie was pacing around. Um, but he is going to email me the results for his echocardiogram. Um, the bill was a lot cheaper than I thought. So not too bad. And we're gonna go home. Once I get the report, then I'll go over it with everyone. We'll be back when we get the email. Bye. All right, so we're home now. We went to work after the vet um, and Twiggy just slept the whole time. And then when he came home, he ate a lot, right? And drank a lot of water. And I'm hoping he'll hang out with me for the rest of the video. He might try to 
walk around a little bit. I'm just going to go over the cardiologist report real quick. Basically, the vet did say that he's exactly the same as last time, which is good. So he still has moderate to severe pulmonary hypertension, vital valve disease, at home doing well, no collapse or trouble breathing reported. He still has the perineal hernia. And it says he has a small mass left flank. So that's like right under here by his armpit, there's a little bump. And then severe periodontis with his teeth. So the medications he's on, um, it's the Tadalafil, furosemide, which is the Lasix, Pimobendin, Enalapril, and Sildenafil. They seem to be working. Um, he also said, I'm doing something right, that Twinkie is one of, or is the longest heart failure dog he has ever seen. He was surprised to see us because he just turned 16 in December, December 26th. But today is January 11th, um, 2023. He's almost at four and a half years of having heart failure. So we're still doing the supplements and vitamins and his special diet. Oh, what does the matter? I'm going to let him just walk around. So basically the diagnosis is severe pulmonary hypertension with right heart enlargement at risk for right-sided heart failure. Overall doing well. He was very agitated, so we aborted the radiographs. So he said he couldn't even do the x-rays because he couldn't get Twinkie to sit down. He says, let me know if his breathing changes. Since he is doing well and pulmonary edema does not appear to be at risk, I will continue all medications as previous. So everything is staying the same. Everything's the same as last time. One more thing the vet said was that he's prescribing trazodone um, just so that for the next time he goes to the vet, he won't be so stressed out. Like as you saw in the video, he was really, really stressed out. And that's why he wanted me to just get him home. So anyway, that's Twinkie's update. I hope this helps. Just feel free to comment. Twinkie also has an Instagram. So if you wanted to follow him on there, it's Twinkie underscore the underscore Chihuahua. And I try to post on there as much as I can and updates and stuff like that. So anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Say bye Twinkie. See you in the next video. Bye.